What is up guys? So, happy Monday. Yeah, it's the beginning of the week, but whatever. Um, so, going to do some crawling around today with um, Frankenstein build. Um, yeah, let me grab him a second and I will show you what's going on. Alright, so here we go. Um, definitely made some more changes. Um, so this is actually going to be the Dodge Power Wagon now. <laughs> um, I decided to bring that back to life. Um, yeah. So that... That's what I'm going to do with this build. I'm going to bring the Dodge Power Wagon back. And this is what is going on. So I changed the shocks around. I took off the um, stock Enduro 24 shock towers and everything. Mounted the shocks right to the frame. They are SCX 24 shocks. <laughs> I got different ones on here. Only because I couldn't get this, these style shocks to work like they did up here, back here. So I figured, well, you know what? This is Frankenstein, so let's just throw these shocks on there. So that is what I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I ended up changing out the drive shaft. I put a metal full length deadbolt drive shaft in there um it's kind of crazy that it worked out because these aren't even lower deadbolt deadbolt links they're uppers um so why that ended up working out i think it's because the, tr the way the transmission sits in here it gives it that extra space needed um but yeah it's it's in there it's functional got good articulation freaking awesome um the one thing i am going to still work on i'm still working on getting a servo mount bracket suspension link bracket for the front here um just because you can see it kind of hits right there but it still articulates really well so yeah still working on that but Got a battery in it, so let's throw it on the course and see how it crawls. It's going to crawl around with no body on it just because I haven't really figured out a good way to get this on there because I'm trying to get it down low enough to cover most of this bod the chassis. I just don't like seeing all the mess. So, yeah. Let's get it on the course, guys. Okay guys, here we go. Frankenstein running of the course. I have to tell you guys, it works pretty well. Look at that slow crawlability it has. It's not very quick, I will give you that. It is super stinking slow. But that is pretty good for some scale crawling. And some uh, slow crawlability. It's definitely, definitely a creeper. <laughs> Frankenstein is a creeper. That's kind of funny. Let's bring it up through gate three over here. I have no doubt it's gonna crawl right up it. Oh, now it's gonna make a liar out of me. Yep, it sure did. I'm just digging a hole down there. Don't really know what it's getting stuck on. Oh, there's a rock way down there. That normally isn't there. I think it's pretty big. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. 
thinking sweet. Now let's bring it over through the frame twister. I'm gonna go the more difficult route. Wow, I'm just struggling. This thing is pretty long. Let's plow that gate over. <laughs> Got some uh, more packages coming in the mail today, so stay tuned for those videos. I think you'll like what I have in store. Look at that. Freaking sweet. And normally, right here, guys, with a long wheelbase trucks, they tend to bottom out, but look how much belly clearance I have on this thing. This thing is going to probably be a freaking kick ass of a crawler. Look at that. That is just so sweet. Got so much ground clearance on this thing now. So stinking cool. Let's see if we can go up across here. Look at that. With ease. Pretty stinking sweet. Can we make it up over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. I centered on something. There we go. Look at that. So cool. Oh, I lost my steering link. <laughs> the little rubber bushing must have fell off. Oh, that's funny. Let me get another one, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, we are back. So, the reason why that happened is you see how much of an angle that steering linkage is on? So that is going to be solved once I get that um, axle steering mounting servo mount. <laughs> um, so yeah, for now I just stuck a washer on there to keep that rubber brushing from falling out. But this thing, man, I am absolutely pleased. Um, the Enduro 24, in my mind, was a pretty capable truck before I did all this stuff to it. Um, but this is just, this is just awesome. It's got way better ground clearance, way better slow crawlability. It's just cool all the way around. Absolutely love it. It's actually got a pretty decent amount of torque too because of the worm gears in the axle. Uh, I don't know if I can get out of this one. <laughs> Stuck there. Knocked my rock down. Don't even know which way it went. So we shall just... Stick it right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this build so far, guys. This is a pretty stinking capable little truck now. Oh, I kind of seen that one coming. It's just so long. The turning radius is not very good. But it can definitely descend and climb pretty well. Look at that. Pretty stinking sweet. That is like full out, guys. <laughs> full tilt throttle.
Definitely have some pretty decent slow crawlability. Pretty freaking cool. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that with my little Frankenstein monster thing going on over here. Um, so for Wednesday's video, I got some footage from Saturday. Um, it was my boy's one year birthday. So yeah, I had the whole family over here and we had a couple of trucks on the track. Um, not a whole lot of footage, but it's footage all, all the more. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, my daughter's now playing with the lights. So, <laughs> all right, guys, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified and we'll see you on Wednesday. Take it easy.